All right, let's continue on to the next part of this uh, project. Uh, I think the next thing we should do is get rid of this uh, Hello Swift label and replace it with an image of something. Um, so I'll select that item um, and then I'll hit the delete button. So that label is gone bye-bye. Um, next, I need to put an image view in here. Now, oh, I can see that I was searching for that earlier. Um, on the right hand side um, we've got all of these different uh, we got all of the different kinds of uh, widgets that can be dragged onto our user interface and one of them is something called and I'll just search for image the image view so let's grab that image view and for starters we'll just plop the image view in what appears to be the middle of our window um, cool now, um, next, our project actually needs to have an image to access, you know, and uh, probably the easiest way to do that is just to grab an image. So here's a picture of my daughter. Uh, we're going to grab Becklehead and we're going to drag it into our project. Oops, let me just expand our project here first. And once again, grab Beckle and stick her in here somewhere, it doesn't really matter. And we'll go finish. Yay! So our project now has, in addition to everything else, it's got uh, that picture in it there. So let's go back to our storyboard. Cool. So uh, if we run the project at this time, uh, it'll have an image view in it. It'll have that image view, but it's not going to look very exciting because we didn't actually stick an image into the image view control. So our control is here, you just can't see it because we haven't stuck anything in it. So let's go back to our application. Um, and now we want to go to uh, the code. So we are looking at the thing called the storyboard here, okay? And this is a graphical representation of uh, the top level view controllers and uh, a few of the other things that happen in this project. Um, so, um, yes, so for this particular view controller, so our view controller called scene, um, we can see that there's, over here, we can see that there's a custom class called view controller. Yeah, not too hard to follow. So there's a class associated with it. That's this view controller class. We'll click on that. And this is where we want to do our work. In our view controller, when view did load runs, we'd like to initialize that image. So let me switch back to the storyboard for a moment uh, and make it a little bigger. So to do that, uh, we need to give the view controller access to this uh, image view. Uh, and uh, to do that, we use something called our assistant. Uh, so the assistant brings up a second window. Uh, and in there you can choose various different things. Uh, yes, our view controller is indeed the thing that we want it to do. Okay, so here's the tricky bit. You would never guess this, uh, but here's how it works. You click on, you know, you click on the image view, so that's the control. Um, then I hold down the control button and I drag, I click on the image view and I drag into our view controller and this creates something called an outlet um, and I'm going to call this particular outlet the uh, image view and I'll click connect cool so we've created a member variable called image view that is basically a reference to this image view control nice and now when view did load runs we can do some initial setup additional setup so let's go image view and you can see it auto completed that's a good sign that everything's set up correctly and image view has got oh there we go it has got a member called image and uh, we can assign something to that image and what does image need well oh actually I'm just gonna do that okay we can see image over here is a UI image. Hmm. Well, I happen to know a little about UI image, so I'll just uh, I'll just fill in what we need to do. So we need to call UI image. 
right? And we need to give it a named image. Okay, and the name of our image is Becklehead. That's Becklehead.jpg. So let's type that in. Becklehead.jpg. Sweet. Okay. So let's run this and it's not going to be necessarily exactly what you think. Let's find out what it does. And the reason why it's not going to be what you think is the shape of this. Notice that um, yeah, notice that this is a nice big square section and this is a nice rectangular iPhone. Um, and we didn't really set up any rules for how things should be redisplayed in, in the iPhone. So here's what it came up with. It saw this and said, oh, I think that's what you want to do. And that's not quite what we want to do. I think it's a little more obvious that we'd like to use, you know, the entire area. Um, we'd like this image view to fit the entire view. So I'm going to click run again and uh, that should give us something a little better. Uh, now we didn't tell it how to um, crop our image or anything but it came up with a reasonable default. It hasn't played with the aspect ratio and um, you know it basically did what it thought was correct. Um, now notice I'm clicking on the image and trying to drag it and I haven't set up any of that yet so we've just got a nice static image uh, that's popping up in our iPhone application and uh, this seems like a good place to uh, end this particular lesson so we've got something that works we're displaying an image um, next you know the next thing I want to do we've got we've made progress we've moved forward I want to go to our source control and I want to commit this change so what have we done? We have um, added an image view um, and uh, displayed an image. Cool. Um, now why this popped up is this is all the this is these are all the changes we've made. You know, we've made a change here, we've made a change here, and we've also added an image. So these are the changes that are going to be committed uh, for this change. So I'll commit those four files. Da, da, da. And now, if we make any further changes, and if I realize that I really did something wrong, I can go back. I can just, you know, if I butcher something just like you saw before uh, I can go back to the previous version so thank you and uh, that's it for this lesson and uh, we will move on